Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can install the Whitestone Dome Glass screen protector on your Samsung Galaxy S21 series. So here is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra that I'm holding right now. And we want to install this Whitestone Dome Glass onto your device. So before we begin, make sure that you lay out all the pads on the table, have it ready. So I've got the white bar right here. I've got the phone. So the cushion cleaning pad, there are two uh, screen protector in this uh, package. So here's what it looks like. So you've got one to use right now and another spare one. So if you break it or if you mess it up, or if in a year's time, if it breaks down, you can replace it with another one right there. And here we've got the installation tray. Uh, you've got the wiping cloth, the alcohol cleaning cloth. You got the masking tape, there are two sets. So one to use it now and one is for the other screen that you can use it later on. Now there is also uh, three uh, liquid adhesive gel. Now one bottle you can use it right now. Uh, one is for the other screen and there is also another one as a backup. You only need to use one bottle. Um, if you mess it up you can uh, wipe it off and try it again. There is also a dust remover sticker. You can use this one to remove the dust that still attached to your screen after cleaning it with your alcohol wipes. Now there is also another backup observer pad and also a masking tape for your um, speaker. Now we also get a UV light uh, device that helps to cure the liquid adhesive gel. So again, this bottle is extra. Now you can see this observer pad here. This is an additional one for the second screen. Uh, your tray already have a pre-installed observer pad, so you don't need to install it for the first time use. The spare observer pad can be used for your second installation. Before we begin with the installation, make sure that you are working on a flat surface table. Make sure the table does not lean to one side, as that will cause the liquid gel to roll to one side of the screen. So you can test this by simply placing the liquid adhesive bottle on the table. If it rolls to one side, make sure that you have um, make sure that you correct the table so that the table is nice and flat on an even level. Now we will apply the masking tape to the buttons, uh, the top and the bottom, the SIM tray, the charging port, and the microphone and a loudspeaker. Make sure they are properly covered with the masking tape, otherwise the adhesive can be leaked into the buttons and cause problem with it. At the top of the phone, there is a very tiny ear speaker. You can't actually see it. You need to look at it carefully before you can see it. Now this will need to be covered up, but I will show you how to do it later on. So you can see here, I'm putting this um, piece of plastic inside this ear speaker. So you can see where it is. And it is very important that you cover them up later on. Okay, let's uh, now cover the top part. So I'm gonna pull out the masking tape and cover the top. Um, of the device. There are the microphone holes that we need to cover up. Okay, next we're going to use the alcohol wipe to clean the surface of the screen. So give it a good wipe. Now use the white cloth and clean dry the surface of the screen. Now we need to place the installation tray on top of the phone. The tray already have the observer pad pre-installed, so you do not have to do it. And it also have a pre-installed masking tape for the ear speaker. You just need to peel out the clear uh, plastic protector. And then now we're going to place it on top of the device. Now you need to use some force to push it down. Now when you push down the installation tray, 
you should hear your phone clicking. If it is clicking properly, you should be able to lift up the installation tray and your phone together at the same time. So here you can see if I lift up my installation tray, the phone also um, get lift up as well. At this point, we can use the dust removal to remove any dust that is still sticking to the surface of the phone. Now we go on to the top of the phone and we're going to push down the masking tape to seal up the top speaker. This is very important that you do this, otherwise the uh, liquid adhesive can leak into the top speaker and ruin your phone. So it is very important that you push down the um, the masking tape to cover up your speaker. Okay, next we're going to place the bridge into the tray. At the top of the tray, make sure the clip is locked in. At the moment you can see I move it out, so make sure you push it down and it is locked in. Then turn the button clockwise until you can turn no more. Don't make it too tight, but just keep going until you find that it will no longer allow you to turn anymore. So turn it until it is complete. Now using only one bottle of the adhesive gel and we're going to open up the red cap. Do not open the black cap as that will release the adhesive gel. So only open the red cap and then we're going to throw it in into that bridge. Okay, once that is done, we can now open up the black cap to release the adhesive gel. Wait for around 30 seconds so that all the adhesive is completely drained. When there are no more adhesive left in the bottle, we can remove the bridge along with the bottle away from the installation tray. Next, get your screen protector and peel off the protective cover on the other side of the glass. And we're now going to place the glass into the installation tray like so. Just be very careful at this stage, make sure that the adhesive is at the center of the screen. And then we're going to place the weight bar on top of the glass, like so. Now we want to pull the clip upwards to unlock and allow the red plastic holder to slide forward or upwards. So now you can see it will automatically slide upwards by itself. You do not need to do anything at this point. And this will force the glass to get in contact with the screen. Now just wait for a minute or two to allow the adhesive gel to spread, slowly spread outwards onto the side of the screen. Now at this stage, you need to be patient allowing the adhesive to spread slowly to the bottom and the top edge of the phone. Now you can see right here at the top, the gel hasn't completely spread to the edge. You need to be patient and do not force it. Slowly, it will eventually spread to the edge of the bottom of the screen and to the edge to the top of the screen. As you can see here, slowly, it will spread out. At the top here, we're still waiting for it to spread out, but just be patient. You do not need to do anything. It will slowly and slowly spread out to the edge of the screen. Once that is completed, we can now remove the white bar and we are now putting the UV light on the top. Press the button once and leave it there for 15 seconds. Once the light goes off, we can move the UV light to the center for another 15 seconds and then place it at the bottom for another 15 seconds. So here, I'm going to place it at the bottom for another 15 seconds and then I'm going to move it to the center for another 15 seconds. Now we can take the phone out of the installation tray. So it's quite hard, you just push it down and off it comes. And here we need to wipe off any excess um, gel that spill to the side. Now we need to put the UV light back on at the top for 60 seconds 
and then at the bottom for another 60 seconds. You can press on the button twice for a 60 seconds timer. Once that is completed, your phone screen protector is now fully cured and we can now remove the masking tape on the side, the top and the bottom. Now this screen protector is fully compatible with the fingerprint scanner but for the best result you should try to rescan your fingerprint so that it can work accurately. Now you can see here I'm trying to uh, rescan my fingerprint at the moment and we're going to test it out after we have finished. Okay once the fingerprint is registered we can then turn off the screen and we're going to test out the biometrics fingerprint. So let's test it out. You can see it works on the first go. So you can see here the fingerprint is very accurate. It works every single time. And here I'm testing out the icons on the screen. Another thing that comes along with the screen protector is the cleaning kit. Uh, this is a uh, microfiber um, kit that you can uh, stick it to the back of your phone and whenever you need, you can always pull it out and clean your screen. So it's really cool. So I'm just gonna peel off this uh, cover and then you can stick it to the back of your phone. They are very easy to remove later on. So when the screen is dirty, you can easily remove it and use it to clean the screen. So here we can use it to clean smudges and uh, dust or any marks or any fingerprints on the screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.